So I visited the ceramics masterclass. I did it. I told you about it in the last video, and uh, now I've tried it. I feel like it's an interesting experience. I've tried to sculpt something uh, with my hands at home, and um, it wasn't that successful because I'm not very good with uh, um, soft materials and uh, proportions, how to make them from scratch and. Uh, I don't know, I was pretty nervous, but everything turns out fine. I did a little holder for instruments and a little palette, and I will go back like maybe in a month to glaze it. But yeah, it was fun. I like to try new things, it was really fun. I've always been curious. Since my early teens I've been searching for my purpose because I couldn't self-identify and everything that I knew about myself didn't sit right. It wasn't cool enough compared to others. I thought that once I discover what I'm good at, I would stop feeling shame and beat myself up, especially for being inconsistent and directionless in my interests. Because I couldn't stick with anything, I would go all in for a few months with the new stuff that got me curious and then drop it shortly after. It happened over and over again with a ton of things, non-stop. 
and I questioned myself all the time. I don't remember even one month when I didn't ask myself, why am I doing this? Does it even make sense? I'm so passionate when I'm starting something. I could become not good, but great at something, if I would keep going. I honestly tried to push it forward as far as I can. But it was the same result every time. When I'm over, I'm over. You can't fire up the ashes. So I couldn't logically answer to this for myself. But the only feeling that I've had is that I cannot not do this. I couldn't resist every single time. Also, I can't deny that at the same time I was kind of secretly proud of my ability to enthusiastically dive into new ideas. But each time I pursued a new creative endeavor, I ended up feeling disappointed, mainly in myself. Every new path seemed like the one I would stick with forever and ever. But it was illusion filled with emotions. Instead of focusing on one thing, I kept starting and quitting different pursuits. Over and over again for decades. Advice like, be yourself and everything will come, really annoyed me. Very much. I didn't like myself. I didn't want to be myself. I hated being told to be that poorly structured and failing version of me. I wanted to cut off aspects and parts of myself, hoping to find something at which I could excel. I believed that fixing myself would bring everything into place. But, as you can probably can guess, it didn't help and brought me even more pain and disappointment. Only after therapy I realized my true values, and now I have a different perspective. Now this jack-of-all-trades part of my identity is an example of my natural talent, not a flaw. I've always been motivated by new things and probably always will be. Once I grasp the basic processes of the initial stages of creation and understand what was previously unknown to me, my interest fades rapidly, like sparks after a firework display. I care more about the mechanisms over the end result, and this is perfectly fine. This is okay. Even if I never apply it elsewhere, that is perfectly fine, too. Ironically, only when you stop being harsh on yourself, then you start to appreciate your imperfections. And when I say talents, I mean something that we haven't intentionally cultivated. It's just something we have. For example, I've been curious since I was a little girl. But also from my upbringing, I acquired another talent. Internal perfectionism and self-criticism. And we already talked about it in a previous video. For years, I thought that this is my flaws. I undervalued these qualities, thinking they were holding me back in life. But now I see them as significant gifts that have helped me tremendously. Despite not following a straightforward path, these talents have allowed me to grow in areas that I'm truly interested in. This unique compass has guided me through life. Yes, it didn't point to the north like normal ones, but it didn't mean it was broken, because north is not what I was looking for in the first place. Savvy?
Good morning. Today I have a day off, but I gotta get myself ready because I have some things to do, errands to run. And uh, now I woke up, looked at the window for like 10 minutes straight and listening to bird singing and thinking about stuff. And um, I think I finally can proudly say that I'm jack of all trades because for the longest time, like a thousand times, universe knows, I've tried to fix myself to be somebody else, to do one thing specifically and uh, say no to everything else because I want to be pro at at least one thing. But it made me miserable, honestly. Like, I'm happy only when I'm evenly spread it out between all of my interests and hobbies and I think the point of this life is to be happy and not to be good for somebody else or even to be good at any specific one thing it might sound arrogant but I know that I'm good at my hobbies uh, making videos, uh, dancing, making miniatures but at the same time I have a lot of small interests that I like to pay attention to from time to time. It's uh, makeup, it's uh, fashion, it's nail art that I've been interested uh, since I was 12, I guess. And um, I don't want to give up any of those things. And I don't want to give up of any of the new things that will come to my life and will make me excited. And um, it took me, I think, maybe 15 years to finally accept myself the way I am. I am a jack of all trades, master of none. And I know, I know that this phrase ended up like oftentimes better than master of one. But I don't think that anyone should be better than anyone else. I think that it should be just something that you feel good about it doesn't necessarily has to be better stronger faster it should be just something that makes you wanted to live and enjoy life so if you're in the same place and you're doubting yourself i feel you i know that it will take time it will take courage it would take a lot of fails until you will accept yourself the way you are and find the peace with yourself and even be proud about yourself that you did not give up earlier and from my personal experience I know that I just couldn't give up because doing all those things is uh, the main force in my life that makes me happy and uh, you just want to be happy as often as you can in life, so, yeah. Oh, birds are singing so pretty. I'm so glad that I have a day off today and I can just stare at the sky and think about stuff. But still, I want to get myself ready. Oh, and later on, I will have to pick up a package and we'll have exciting unpacking, at least exciting for me, so yeah, let's go.
So yes, keyboard is here, it's finally arrived and it's so beautiful and aesthetically pleasing and um, soft on the touch and not really loud as I want it and also it was important to me to find the keyboard which uh, is beautiful but also wireless because cords on the table while you're crafting is not a good idea so yeah now I have this beauty on my desk I need to figure out how to change the color of light because right now I know how to change the brightness but it's still it's still beautiful i enjoy it i like it so much i'm so happy i ordered it so yeah it makes me even more happier than the last time in the previous video because everything is coming into place like this makeover and the look of the desk uh, it's changing evolving and uh, I think I'm a person of a project, so this is like exciting new project for me. I'm trying new things, I'm trying to figure things out. But also I know that it will come to an end like in short period of time, like month or two. And then I will move on to something new, something different and something even more exciting. But for now I'm really enthusiastic to find a little pieces that will um, enter this aesthetics and um, just just uh, to be in this <sighs> creative mode I guess to finding things out and make things work but this is this is just so beautiful I I just can't at first I've, I thought to order like a dark brown color but uh, it wasn't a different type of a plastic and uh, I ended up ordering this pastel green and I'm not regretting it's so nice it's so beautiful and I'm excited it will be so cool to edit with this keyboard ah, I'm so happy good evening guys cheers hot tea for you with my new coaster uh -huh. So, I gotta admit, editing is my least favorite part of uh, the process of creation videos, uh, especially when I have a lot of footage and I need to cut it uh, into pieces and put it together with a thought and I don't remember my initial thought when I filmed it and it's really frustrating. But uh, recently I found a life hack, especially with this new type of the videos I'm making. Uh, I'm trying to edit, um, to make edit inner parts. Like I filmed something uh, today and today or tomorrow I will transfer this footage to computer and edit specifically this part. And then by the time when I will be making voiceover, it's almost done it's the video is consists out of pieces that I need to connect to each other and just uh, find the uh, right transition between the scenes and for now it seems like a really working um, scenario and especially with this new keyboard I can't shut up about it every time I press the button to um, some hot key uh, to the program i'm like oh it's so soft it's so nice it makes the process so pleasing and yeah right now uh, that's what i'm gonna be doing another part of my life editing the footage because if no i'm not editing it nobody would do that for me in every process there is the painful step that you don't like but you have to take it in order to have what you want so yeah I'm gonna keep editing regardless or whether I accepted this part of myself or not it's something that made me a good specialist in unconventional ways in today's lingo a specialist of broad expertise everything worked out in my favor even in unexpected ways to my younger self, feeling lost and confused, the idea of destiny, that it's about recognizing who you are, not about becoming something else specific, would be erratic to the core. 
but after all those years of unsuccessful attempts to change my true characteristics as a person, I know that it's not about a fit in a certain mold. It's about recognizing and embracing your unique talents. It's not something that you can find, it's something you cannot be. Only after a few decades I'm starting to feel my strength and reap the rewards of my experiences many years later. And I don't want to be too dramatic because, of course, you can push yourself and change some things within you, but in my humble opinion and from my own experience and pain, I think it's just impossible out of the place of the self-hate. But as soon as you stop hating yourself, you might realize you probably don't need to fix anything. If you feel like some of your qualities holding you back, Maybe later you will be surprised how much it helped you become a person you always wanted to be. Just trust the process and trust yourself.